Alright, welcome back to another edition of the Literally Hitler and Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Yes, peace be upon him. Extravaganza. Yep. Here we are again. So what have we got here today? Uh, we got uh, this guy, this pro-black, I guess as he calls himself, Tariq Nasheed. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, he's pro, he's pro-black? He's Yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah, there's some segment of blacks that like to call themselves pro-black where, <clears throat> as far as I know, they're just... They're the ones that always talk about how whites are oppressing them. You know, white supremacy is everywhere you look, no matter where you go. Pro black just does not sound very specific. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is a weird term. Yeah, I mean, so it's like, is it, is that, does that mean that there's like a <clears throat> uh, apparently class who's anti-black? Is that what the I, I implication think is? This is basically it sounds to me like what he's calling himself is an attempt to poison the well with everyone who disagrees with him. Because now that he's I don't know if he mm. named it. So now that he's dubbed this pro-black, assuming he's the one that named it, now anyone that doesn't agree with him, who's not part of his clique, is automatically anti-black. Yeah, you know, you got a good point. I never thought of it that way. But. It's really sneaky kind of <laughs> propaganda, you know. Yeah, he is good at this. I mean, he's got he's got a lot of followers and uh, made three documentaries. Uh, what is it? The Hidden Colors one, two, and three. And, yeah, he's a uh, he's duped a lot of people. You know, I got to give him credit. You know, where it's due, he's well, he's great at sucking people in, much like a you know televangelist sucking in old people and having them giving them their money. Well, I can't wait to I can't wait to hear him. His, you know, the thing I've, I've noticed is that with a lot of these black nationalist type, and I don't know if that's what he is, but I'm talking Pretty about much. yeah, Black Lives Matter, black nationalist stuff like that. Is that the, the the deck is always attempted to be stacked that if you don't agree with them. You're a white supremacist and you hate black people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, disagreement's yeah. not enough. Disagreement is a slope that goes directly down the chute to white supremacy. You're either, um, you're the Zeke Heiling with a swastika on your arm and lynching black people, or you agree with them lock, stock, and barrel. There's never yeah, 100% any... 100% no disagreement. <laughs> there's never any fucking room <laughs> with these guys. Exactly. So... Um, so again, I, I don't know about him. I haven't heard. I know of him, but I've never actually listened to him before, as far as I know. So uh, let's make me woke and roll some shit. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Although I should say this doesn't really have anything to do with uh, pro blackness. Uh, it has more to do with him firing this lady live on air because uh, because of how thin skinned he, he is. Well, you'll see. He brings up a topic and he doesn't want to let it go. And oh, yeah. Okay, so we won't be dealing with actual race baby, but I can live with no. that. All right. We, although we can find a video like that for another time. Let's do that. I'll, I'll find but, one. Yeah. So, Let's see him fire somebody now. Yeah. Brace yourself, guys. All right. He wants his own little space, and that's how men are. We kind of get into our, our zone because y'all got four kids. I have four kids, so you know. Right. Sometimes we just want to get in that little man cave zone, you know, we're dealing all the <laughs> kids jumping all on well, you all the time. I, I get that. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, which is okay, but I mean, you know, I'm talking about, you know, when we have our date night or something like that. Who know? be babysitting the fucking kids when y'all have a date night? <laughs> <laughs> His mother, my mother-in-law. Okay, see if she can come babysit my kids so I can go to the damn movies. <laughs> I'll babysit Tariq. <laughs> right, I know. I'm Sarah. Have, Hell no, you know Sarah can't come to my house. Uh, <laughs> what? Just might. Uh, I don't trust Why Sarah. Sarah I don't trust Sarah as far as I can throw a stick at her ass. Oh. <laughs> All right. And uh, yeah, for you, for you guys, uh, the redhead is the one known as Sarah. So he's the one he's going to be berating for the next, you know, three minutes or whatever. Is she a natural redhead? <laughs> Hardly doubtful. <laughs> Right. Oh, whatever. <laughs> on. But talk right. to you do. Talk to your guy and and see okay. and let him know your your needs in the relationship. <laughs> All right. Bear in mind, uh, this is his co-host, and the way he talks to her, it just you have to ask yourself, like, why the fuck did you hire her to begin with? But well, he probably he's probably the type, and again, I'm, I'm jumping the gun with this because I've never seen him. He's probably the type that needs someone around to berate. Yeah. Am I somewhere in the neighborhood with that? Probably, I mean, uh, <clears throat> kind of. That, that's kind of what Howard Stern did, and like with the uh, retards he'd have, I have on there. But done. yeah, but you know, he'd get right, and you know, just like you know, for shits and giggles, not to try to you know get under the skin. Or actually, anything. it so actually did get pretty heated between him and uh, like Stutter and John. Apparently, oh, yeah? some of that shit was real. Ah, okay. Yeah, but um, nonetheless, uh, <laughs> Howard Stern aside, it sounds to me like this guy's maybe possibly on a little bit of a power trip and needs somebody to dominate sometimes. Yeah. I'd make him feel a little better if it's a woman because he's not in prison. Because <laughs> when you're in prison, oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, we'll get to that another day. <laughs> <laughs> Toss the salad. Sarah at my fucking house? Hell no. Boy, why? What's she gonna do? Sarah, Go in your refrigerator? I don't trust Sarah. <laughs> I still think that Sarah's a damn an operative, an informant. Hell an no. Informant? Oh my god. You're no. the one to talk. No. Yeah. So there you go, right? He, he, he can't be words, words like informant. This guy is the most paranoid motherfucker. Well, okay, <laughs> hold on. So he's got her on his show. I thought he was kidding. So you're saying he actually seriously thinks this girl's an informant? <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I think he's serious. Okay, let me tell you something. Let's get this out of the way right now, okay? <laughs> if we ever have somebody in here talking with us, and, they, and they're in here with us every week, whatever, maybe it'll happen, and we, we decide they're an informant, don't call them out in front of everybody. That just generally doesn't work out for you really good. Right. It's, it's, it's don't, it's if you think you have a, uh, an undercover cop among you or an informant, don't call them out is like, don't do it 101. You don't let them know what you're thinking. It doesn't, it doesn't bode well for you. You distance yourself, you get them out nice and quiet, and you don't say anything. Yeah. And you if, don't bring them into your studio if you legitimately believe that. Yeah, don't do but, that either. Oh my god. <laughs> you won the Please. talk. You don't understand some gonna, of the... We're not going to get into this. Today. Some of the shit Sarah be asking me. So? Oh, oh, man, what? Ask anything like, I want. Like Sarah what? be asking some informant type of shit. Who so, the fuck I don't? Oh, Lord. I'm like, <laughs> like what? Exactly? Sarah's a fucking weirdo. What you be asking? Off, off air, Sarah's a fucking weirdo. Because I asked him if he was a pimp because there's all these pictures of him acting like a pimp but looking like and a pimp And she keeps online. asking me, she, do we, you a pimp? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't, uh, I, I don't know. I just asked. I'm like, wh why do you keep asking me? Because I don't know. Well, I told you. I keep seeing it. On the internet. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? What you talking about? Well, like, you from the pictures shit. I seen, oh, it looked like a pimp. That was oh. a, you had on a top hat. What what the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? You didn't have on a top hat. Well, Layla, you saw I'm the like, picture I showed you, What are you talking right? about? Look like a pimp, right? Oh, and she wow. keeps asking me these weirdo ass informant questions, oh, dude. I'm like, I, need I don't know, Terry. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Look, like, where are you getting this shit? From? I asked if he was a pimp because there are pictures online of him looking like a pimp. No, it's not. And I, yes, it is. No, it's not. Where I'm are not going to argue where with you about it. And I gotta pause right there because he's oh god he's lying out his ass and I think he knows he is like what pictures what because here I, I'm going to go to so, I have this prepared on a Google image oh, search. Okay. <laughs> now while you're looking that up, I gotta ask. So is his image would being a pimp damage his image or something like that? I, I guess so. I think that's what he's afraid of. Okay. Because I mean, granted, uh, I think these photos were from like seven plus years ago. However, the hell long. I remember there was a time uh, where he was actually in some Michael Moore documentary. I forget which one where. I think it was something to do with Wall Street or whatever. And Tariq Nasheed, you know, dressed, you know, kind of coonishly, dressed up as a pimp. And was uh, talking to the Wall Street people, you know, talking. Just, he was acting like a pimp, you know. Oh, hey, how many side bitches you got? He's like, yeah, you know. Yeah, the Wall Street game, that's a that's a pimpin's game. Or something. Like, I forget. No, you guys have to look it up on YouTube, but it's it's not hard to find. Mm. But yeah, so yeah, he's on a Michael Moore documentary dressed as a pimp. But not to say he is one, but yeah, he was dressed as one, and he's playing dumb. Like, what? There's no pictures of me, you know, dressed as a pimp. What the fuck are you talking about? So that about? would shatter his image if you were to actually corner him on this and prove he was a pimp. Then, right? Okay. Yeah. Because a lot of people would admit it. So here's a uh, the art of Mackin, and yeah, Mackin. Uh, yeah, uh, as far as I know, that's another term for pimping, correct? I, I, I never called it that, but, you know, um, I was a very clean-living pimp, so uh, <laughs> I, I didn't I deal with the slang very much, you know, so I don't know. Yeah. The Mac Within. Although, who knows, you know, some of the titles of this could be Photoshop, but... I was going to say, but I mean, Without a doubt, you know, there are pictures of him in, like, a pimp-like outfit, and, yeah, there he is. That's from the Michael Moore documentary... Uh, whichever one that was. Because I should point out, I should point out, I know a little bit about that, that world. I was kidding a second ago, but I do know a little bit about that world. And most pimps don't look the part. Right. Uh, any pimp that walks around looking the part is an idiot. <laughs> yeah, he's, you got to keep it low key for sure. All right. So, anyways, back to this. So those pictures might be a, you know, not exactly a smoking gun, but yeah. it's enough to make someone say, "Hey." <clears throat> yeah, and we're not saying that he is a pimp. You know, at least you know I'm not saying that, but 
she was just asking, you know, were you a pimp? Because there's pictures of you, you know, dressed as one. And he he does look like he's being very evasive. Yeah, <laughs> like he's like he's the one who brought this up, and he can't let it go. And and all he had to do was say, like, well, there was a, look, I was in this documentary where I was dressed as one. If that's what you're referring to, that's all he had to say. Mm-hmm. But he's just totally avoiding. Th- what pictures? There's no pictures of me as a pimp. But. <laughs> Yeah, the mental gymnastics is amazing. Where are they? What do you mean, where are they? She's asking me. They're you know, online. Because we're in the car. They're the online. Other, we, we, we film. Oh she's, my God. No, it's not. Yes, they are. It's not. Okay. It's well, not. That's your yeah, we just looked them up. My experience is they're online. And you keep asking me the same question. I don't have to lie about question, you. And I ain't got to lie to you. You keep okay. asking the same informant ass questions. That's not an informant question. Okay. She's weird. It's not. That's not an informant as question. <laughs> I mean, most he's, he's making something out of nothing. An informant is not going to say, "Are you a pimp?" An informant's <laughs> going to say, "Hey, you know, you got some girls. I might know some customers. Maybe you could introduce me and show me your operation a little bit. Kai could probably hook you up with some work." That's what an informant yeah. That's what does. an informant would say for sure. An informant doesn't walk up to a drug dealer and say, "Hey, so you you sell black tar heroin?" <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. I heard you did. I like that bit in uh, Cheech and Chong where they were doing that stand-up bit from, I, I think it was Nice Dreams or Still Smoking or whatever one where they do a little stand-up routine where... Still Cheech, smoking. Oh, still smoking. Yeah. So Cheech is the drug dealer and then you got Chong is the, the guy, the narcotics officer. He's like, hey, man, I'm, I'm looking to purchase narcotics. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't get more obvious than that. But yeah. <laughs> I, know, I can't tell if he's 100% serious when he asks her. She's an informant. But if he's actually asking her and he actually thinks that she might be one, he's a moron. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, believe, do, you do you believe? Do you believe? Do you? Am I? Do you believe? Do you know I mean, some I the, don't? Your talking points. You sound like a damn pimp. So <laughs> I don't know. What, 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 I believe what I see. What that talking you points? Are. What talking and points? And somebody what? What talking? The points? way you yeah, talk <laughs> about relationships, about women. Why are you always trying to act like we hoes and shit? You Who seem like you a pimp. <laughs> you didn't say it, but you imply uh, it. What you talking about? You imply it. That's, that's why I don't trust this. Man. Okay, oh well, you don't. I didn't ask you to trust. You don't trust her yet. You have her in your studio. But anyways, the, to be fair, he's about the hot fire. So <laughs> maybe that is the only reason why you had her on, just so that he could embarrass her live on air. Could and be. That's what I. And that's what I kind of think now. That the more I think about it, could be. That's why I said I don't really care. Like another, another Peter and um. I really don't Lord, care. Lord, I don't, don't trust her. She sounds like a fucking informant. Okay, well, oh if that's I don't how know you what feel, you're talking about. if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. And we but were in the car. She's in my car. I, I've been side eye you. Oh, I've been side eye you. Can I get to the bottom matter. of the story? He's she had. She I got asked him. He was a pimp. Okay, period. where did this? Okay, where, where did this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we get to the bottom of the story? Yeah. Okay, so what happened? I was in the car and I just. This is not a first time asking me. This is not a first time asking me. Let me see. Okay, let me see the. She's asked me that before. Let's get to the bottom. Yeah, let's get to the bottom. I'm like, where the fuck you getting this from? I just asked if he used to be a pimp. Okay, she keeps. Okay, so. Well, you I keep saw asking me. Okay, so those of you are listening, here we go. We got three. Yeah. Re- is this even you? Let me see that. You look fat as hell. Is <laughs> this that. really you? Let me see that. that oh, yeah, yeah, that's back in the... This is the damn comedy show <laughs> okay. from oh. years ago. God, you, you gotta love that. So like, what pictures? And then now she's oh, 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 yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, now he knows. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, I did give an expl- explanation, you know. <laughs> I don't care if he was a pimp or he wasn't. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean it's, you know, but... I mean, he gave an explanation now, but he acted like he didn't know what the fuck she was talking about two minutes ago. Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah, he's... <laughs> Jesus. I guess he was so confident that those pictures were just, I don't know, white from the internet. It looked a little too stereotypical to be a real picture of him pimping, though. Like I said, the actual guy with the cane and the fur coat and the hat with the feather in it is... Which is not what he was wearing, but you got the idea. Right. Yeah, it's um, not the 1970s anymore. Pimps don't dress like that. Today. Even in the 70s, that was never the norm. Right. Um, it, it was a Hollywood norm, but this was an unusual thing. In fact, I don't even think it ever became the norm until Hollywood made it the norm, and then you had imitators that watched movies, you know, which they, a lot of people like the image. But, you know, okay. So um, he says he's not a pimp. She says he's a pimp. Uh, I'm going to say, wearing that outfit's not enough to say you were a pimp. I would expect him to have, like, 
you know, holding up a bottle of champagne in a strip club with a bunch of women around him, and I would expect about a hundred different pictures with uh, with about three hundred different girls, you know. <laughs> um, so I, I, this is I don't consider this a smoking gun at all. I don't know. That's never what I implied from the get go. But but we're not really here to find out if he's a pimp. We're here to watch him throw a temper tantrum. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He gets really salty. Okay, oh, all I said was I saw Yeah, that was a comedy okay, satire so why show didn't from you years say ago. That? You didn't why ask didn't me you that. Say that. I wasn't you, trying to call the fuck am I? And even that's not correct. A comedy satire. I mean, well, what he's doing was satire, but it wasn't a comedy. Th- it was, <clears throat> it was a documentary, and he simply threw some comedy in there. But okay, whatever. I'm not supposed to know it was a comedy. Because show. I told you, you I didn't. wasn't, and you just keep asking me the same shit. And I just said, okay, shit. well, I saw it online. But That's I, all I said. Then why do you keep asking me some keep stupid asking shit? Keep like asking you. Yes, I you asked have. you one you time. Have. No, you haven't. You keep asking me that Tariq, stupid shit. Tariq, please, let's just move okay, on. Okay, so you're to make me you mad. A, you I don't give a fuck him. about you being mad. I know. You right. don't care about if I get Wait, mad. You don't care. Yeah, see, so she wants to move on, but he can't let it go. Like, even after she was informed, you know, he set the record straight, but. As straight as it's going to get. I mean, yeah. And then whether she asked it once or many times, no, maybe maybe she did ask it once. Maybe she's lying. I don't know. We don't know. And we're just hearing there two sides of the story. I mean, I already know he's full of shit, but no, whatever. I'm asking stupid shit. fucking questions, I didn't fucking yo. ask you that you shit just now. Asked, you, you I asked, asked you me that last week. Questions. I asked you that last then week. Then she got in then my you car. Move on. So I have. I got weed in my purse. I'm like, what the fuck? What, weed in your yeah, she, yeah. I'm like, what are you doing with weed? Because she, she's high all the loud. fucking time. The smell was real loud, and I said, oh shit, this I is still in my purse from last night, and I know how he be tripping, so that's why I said that. Oh, I'm like, this so, motherfucker so right here. So the bottom here. of it is, that's him in a pimp thing. In, he said as a cop. So it sounds like she said, uh, she's pretty much saying, uh, I guess, to check to see if he was like anti weed. Because are you getting that too? Because she was uh, just pretty much putting it out there, like, okay, for the record, just so you know, I have weed in my purse. To me, it's common courtesy. You let people know if you have contraband on you, if you're going to be in the car. Yeah. Yeah, She was letting them know, is what it sounds like. And by the way, if she's carrying weed around in a state where it's illegal, um, she's a horrible informant. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if I remember right, I think they do say that uh, she was carrying weed in a state that is legal. Get a, oh, yeah, it's, it's fuck. I should have. Yeah. Uh, there, I know he lives in L.A., so California. Yeah, weed is legal in California. Okay. Uh, assuming that that's where they were at the time when she had weed on her. I, okay. I'm assuming so. Comedy skit. But he didn't say she it was a that. comedy skit. I, I don't know that. But I told you I wasn't. But okay, you and I let it, it go. You didn't let it go. I'm not talking about it. You are. I don't give a fuck I'm, if you was a pimp or not. But I don't give a fuck. You keep asking <laughs> yeah. me stupid shit. I did shit. not. Why do you keep what asking me stupid, stupid shit? What other stupid shit do I ask you? you, you what other stupid shit do I ask you? Bring your fucking voice no, down. No, you don't talk to me Uh-oh. like that. Bring your yeah, voice down. No, you no, no, you bring your voice down. You're not my daddy, though. You can leave. 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 There you go. No, 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 no. Let her go. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, Let her go. Go, go. No, go ahead. Bye no, bye. No, go. No, you go. No. There you go. No, you can leave. Go ahead. Why are y'all there you go. doing this? What you good. We good. Happening? Thank you. Have a, have a good day, sweetie. What a bitch. What is going on? <laughs> she, she is right. a bitch. No, 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 no. Well, I, I was talking about Tariq, but, there you go. but I was going to say, so is he. Right. Um, and here's the thing. When, when a girl's getting belligerent, or anyone for that matter, uh, it's actually even worse if you do it tonight. You don't say, bring your voice down and raise your voice when you do it. Because effectively, <laughs> you're... Well, I know what he's doing. He's trying to he's trying to be dominant and bring your voice down like, like she's a kid. And you don't do that with a... What does Tommy Sotomayor call her? That's, uh, she's a T... A, a, a BT-1000. She's a B- the, the Black Terminatrix 1000. Okay, so she's a she's a BT-1000. Okay. You don't she, she's do, not a hair hat because she has her natural hair, clearly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't do that with a BT-1000. Uh, no, they don't take shit. <laughs> the, the, he thought he can control her and uh, it totally backfired on him. And he must have known, but I guess... Uh, who, you know, who knows, but... All right, so he fires her right here, and she's just going to walk out. Right. So. Yeah. And then they continue to talk about it. And, yeah. God, what in the world? There you go. What just, what just happened? It was time for her to bounce. Oh, my God. Maybe she's just sick right I now. I don't give a fuck. It was been time for her to bounce. Oh, no. To <laughs> been read. time for her to bounce. To you read. who couldn't let it go. Right. What? She just keeps on some weird old <laughs> shit. So, oh, my God. 
she's too fucking weird. I mean, asking me stupid ass informant type questions. Right. I don't fuck with her like that. Right. Well, if he's not a pimp, then mm -hmm. what is he worried about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if he's right, if he's uh, she's asking informant questions. I hate to say if you have nothing to hide, but if, if, if she's asking informant questions, then uh, who does he care if he's not if he's never pimped? Yeah, it's like, dude, if you obviously want a pimp, then you just do the just laugh about it. You say it's no. like, oh, oh, right, no, you're referring to those pictures. Oh yeah, I was on this Michael Moore documentary, and boom, it's done. Okay, so. <laughs> but, I'm a, <laughs> imagine, imagine right now we're in here, and I've got a, and, I, and I've got a bunch of coke in, in my pocket. You know, I've got about uh, tw you know, twelve grams of coke in my pocket. I don't, but let's just say I did. And we have someone in there, and they're saying, "Hey, you know, uh, I, I heard you, you've been carrying coke. You probably got some on you right now." And I'm going to say, uh, "No, I don't." If I say, uh, "Why are you asking me questions like an informant?" Well, I'm obviously a little worried about what she's going to ask me. If I don't have anything on me, I'm st I might still be annoyed, but I'm not going to go on with this informant thing. It's like, I don't know what you think you're going to... So if I don't have it on me, and, and so they say that, you know. In this case, he's pimping. I think there's a seven-year statute of limitations on pimping. Hmm. Um, so Michael Moore's thing was I, more than seven years ago, right? Yeah, so, something like that. So, unless he's worried about his reputation, and I'm doubting he's a Sunday school teacher, who <laughs> he's, he's just being a bitch. Yeah, total bitch. Yeah. Right, so, to be more clear on uh, the what tree can achieve the documentary <clears throat> that he was on, it was actually the Michael Moore TV show documentary, whatever you want to call it, the, the Awful Truth. And so... Tariq Nishi was filmed in June 28th, 2000 on an episode called Taxi Driver. There have been so four... So, 17 years ago. There, oh, so there have been... Oh, seven, yeah, so there have been five presidential elections since this happened. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's worried about as far as her being an informant goes, because you can't bust... I believe it's seven years. California might be a little bit more steep. It's definitely not 17. He's got nothing to worry about. It's over. I don't know. Even w whether she's right or wrong, he's he's throwing a fit over nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He could have handled this a lot differently, but he just uh, he wanted to swing his dick around and show her who, Which is who all the this boss is about. was. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Right, well, yeah, should we just call that an episode? Call that, that an episode. Yeah, we call this an episode. Unless something else interesting happens in this video. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, should we play and see? Yeah. All right. I can always cut it out. Yeah, cut this part out. Let it roll. Oh. What the fuck are you doing? Right, right. Oh, it's legal. I'm like, what? No, dude. Right, no. right. You ain't got to have a car. Okay, so right there. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were in California at the time. It's legal. So, what? I don't understand what his problem was with her having weed in her purse in a state where it's legal. I, I don't get that at all. Hmm. Like, why would you get butthurt over that? Well, sometimes you get just uneasy out of inertia because of inertia because so you've been you've had to be careful for so many years, and but if it's legal, yeah, you're absolutely right. It makes no sense to make a fuss about it. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, I mean, I guess if you've been if you've been looking over your shoulder every time you have weed on you your whole life, and I know that personally what that's like. Hmm. You know, um, yeah, you know, um, still, so what? Yeah. yeah. If she had a bunch of crystal meth in her pocket, I could see. Yeah, now that you can start worrying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, well, you're not getting this car. You're going to have to fucking hitch a bus or get an Uber. <laughs> oh, come man. on, dude. I don't want that shit around. Dude. Right, right, right. Because, yeah, you can't be around that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not. Why? She's, uh, whatever. All right. Oh, can't my be God. Around I hope y'all make up. No, this we're is not. Sad. No, we're good. No, we cool in the game. Why? I feel like it's a no. build up. No, no, no. Is man. this a build up? Do you think it is? I, I kind of feel like it's a bit. Can, can we bring the new girl? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's it's me and you chilling. We chilling. It's I'm me just, and you chilling. No, nah, for real, Tariq. I just really want to know. Like, I'm like, I know everybody else is throwing. No, no, no. Look, you know how she does slick shit. Cause look, let me let me say this. Cause yeah. she called <laughs> Layla screaming at Layla on some bullshit, like trying to check Layla 
Uh, and I didn't like that either, by the way. I'm gonna be real. I didn't like that. I should have. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, I didn't she like did. that bullshit. She did. She did. She, she did. called she Layla, did. told her, "Don't be talking about this on the air. Don't be putting my business out." And I, that really pissed me the fuck off too. Yeah. So Sarah does a lot of little bullshit behind the scenes, man. Even with with the other chick, you know, she's hating on the other girl who was here. You know, she so, she she's on some bullshit. Yeah, she, I mean, like the, when she came at me and called me privately, and like I thought that was a little strange, but I did, you know, I told her I like whatever you think about me, like I didn't mean to, like I don't feel like I really did anything really, really wrong, judging by the track record. But yeah. if if somebody feels like I did something wrong in them, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just be like, if that's how you feel, I apologize. We got past it, but it was a little strange, and I did was in my feelings a little bit. Yeah. I, I kind of let it go because that's the type of person I am, but. I, I see what you're saying. I yeah. see what you're saying. Yeah, she, you saying. know how she does. She does, yeah. does a lot of little slick. Like, little she's a, like, she, I feel like Sarah's a good person, but um, I feel like she's a good person. I just feel like yeah, she's very opinion, very, has a very strong opinion. Yeah. And when she has a very strong opinion, that's what it is, period, point blank. Yeah. You know, strong you know, I would say this is a know, stupid argument from the beginning. Yeah, some people oh, yeah. Know uh, on both of their parts. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. yeah, I kinda, think y'all been had built up tension, kinda, though. Because know, even she, before I got here, even before I got here, I already felt like y'all had some type of tension that was prior to me coming. That's, I'm just going to throw that out yeah. there. Yeah. Well, that was pretty much that. All right, so, yeah, we can cut out that. Yeah. That remaining minute and a half. All right. So, this is literally in profit signing off. Yep. Peace out.